Hello everybody, I'm High Trees and I'm going to show you some polymer tricks in Mapster. I've thrown a basic map together and the capture I tried to do before failed, but it, it doesn't matter. So, anyway, just remember who did these first. I wasn't going to share them until I finished my map, but I figured it benefits me and everybody else if I show people how this is done. Because then we'll get some better quality maps out from other people, because I mean mine's probably not even going to get played that much, in fact you nuke them forever's out soon so I don't really know why I'm bothering, <laughs> but hopefully somebody finds this useful. So the first thing we're going to learn to do is how to make tunnels, like sewers. Um, you can make as complex a shape as you want, but obviously I'm on a time limit so I'm going to do things quickly. Basically you make a square, turn it into an inner sector and leave it as it is for the time being. Um, I'm going to assume that, I don't know, we don't want anything too big, that'll be enough. So I'm going to make a tunnel from both sides here. I'm going to make a tunnel that turns, actually, just to show off. I could do with some more points in there, like that. Right, now what we're going to do is we're going to just draw a sector into this one. You'll realise that pretty much all we're ever going to do is turn things inside out. Um, there isn't really anything else to it, to be honest. It's very easy to do. Uh, I can't remember how I discovered this, and it is not really a supported method. But I'm pretty certain the developers wouldn't recommend doing it this way, but it might be quicker doing it like this. Hang on. But nonetheless, it... Ah, you... What? Ah, it doesn't matter. Let's fix it. Right, I'm only going to do one turn in tunnel. So, basically, all you do now is move those points outside like that. And I'm going to push them right out the edge there. And that's it. You're pretty much done now already. Um, yeah, let's move those ones out. And then we'll just have those ones pull them. Whoops, wrong ones. Oh yeah, of course. It's back to front, isn't it? Uh, there we go. Now, what happens is we arrange these ones diagonally. I th you know how to make a bend in something. Anyway, I mean, if you're watching this, I'm going to assume you're familiar with the basics of Mapster and Build. Of course, you'll have to use Mapster for this, and you will have to be able to run Polymer. And anybody that plays your map's going to have to be able to run it, or else it will garble the display, as I'm sure you are aware. Uh, hopefully, you'd back your map up first. I recommend, if you're going to try doing anything like this, you really should leave it till last. Now, as you can see we have a tunnel. You can't walk in there in Mapster without going into no clip, but that's easy. You press apostrophe and N and it disables the clipping. So if you fall out like that, just hit it until you get into gravity mode and you will have absolutely nothing to worry about. Right, so now we're all, the, all that remains to do with it is actually just decorate the tunnel as much as you need, because these roof tiles here are separate. So I'm gonna probably edit this out and come back when I've shown you what sort of things you need to do to it just so you get the general idea. There is one small problem though that you may run into is that you might not be able to change your first wall. Once you've done this, you, yeah, this, this could be a real problem. So I'll do this like I did yesterday, 5, 1, 2, uh, I'm not sure on the height yet, 4, 0, 9, 6. Basically, you know, it's, it's like making anything else of this sort. Um, so what was that? Last one was, yeah, 2048. That one should be... Hang on, I'll do it the other way. Yeah, like I say, you might not be able to change your first wall. It's not, not a big deal. It's just something you'll have to live with. Like I say, you're not supposed to do this. So don't expect any miracles from it because you're not supposed to do it. <laughs> now you can add the slope to this one as well. There's no reason why not to do that, you know. You may as well go ahead. Um, you'll be able to walk in this fine in game. It's only editing that makes it dodgy, but it does bug up sometimes. It's just basically whatever the editor feels like at that time. Uh, yeah, so, like I say, it, it's buggy, it's not something you're supposed to do, don't abuse it, and please save it till last, because you will be really running the risk of breaking your map, 
doing things like this. Now, we're, because we're in no clip mode here, you know, I can just walk straight through the wall. But there you go, you have, you can tidy the wall up, but there you go, you, you've got a tunnel, it's, it's good enough. It's a little bit off there, but usually it meets up fine, as you can see. I've probably just done something wrong from my own stupidity, I expect, so I'm rushing this together. There, that's the problem there. The slope's wrong. Interestingly, the whole floor acts as one entity on these, but sometimes it'll do it to the ceiling. It's kind of unpredictable. Um, occasionally you run into a rendering fault, but it's very minor. Uh, I don't think anybody had really noticed, so there you go. I've only done one tunnel. But, I mean, that looks great. So, obviously, you know, can we make bridges with this effect? And what does polymer lights do? Polymer lights won't go through that floor. You can go through the ceiling in game. But there's a solution to this. I'll show you real quick. Uh, it's really easy. All I did was I got the texture for the ceiling, turned it into a floor sprite, and stretched it out as far as I could, and just kept doing it. And then, you know, if you hold the mouse button down, your left mouse button, and just move it up into the ceiling, just between the floor above and the ceiling there and it should stop Duke Nukem being able to go into null space um, to the point that it becomes noticeable obviously you do that all the way along uh, it's not difficult to do so now ah, there's a river here I want to make a bridge well if there's only one river you can do it how you did before but you're gonna have the problem that you're running into walls you do it as display, I suppose, and block off, but I don't know how you do it. If you can make a wall invisible, please tell me, because I don't know how to do that. Uh, so, yeah, the bridge is pretty much the same thing again. Really easy to do these. I'm going to use grid size 3. I'm not going to build a big or complex bridge here, because I honestly don't have the time. And you just want to make some points on your outer walls there. Uh, it helps if you have a sector around them, but you don't have to do that. And you really will have drawing problems with this. So how many dots? Two, three, four, five, six. So there's six. I'm going to go cheap and I'm only going to have three here. Um, so you draw the opposite way of what you want to go again. Like that. Whoops. It doesn't really matter where the points are because we're going to be moving it. Uh, and it's better to assign your first walls before you drag it in. So what you want to do now, assuming you can slope, you can just have one sector and make a simple bridge, but what's where's the fun in that? Right, so what you probably want to do now is figure out which you want as your first wall. I'm just going to use this side. It's probably better to lower them now as well anyway. Because otherwise it can make adjusting them difficult later. So what you want to do is this floor here, the one outside, is actually going to adjust the height of the bridge once it's done. So whereas the height of the bridge's floor here is actually going to adjust the height of the ceiling. So that ceiling is going to be at this height. So whereas the floor is going to be at this height. Strange. So now is the easy bit. All you do, drag it like that. You probably shouldn't let them meet in the middle. You probably don't want any lines touching each other at all. So we're gonna, because I can't be bothered to mess about with the more advanced features, I'm just gonna cheat a little bit like this. Uh, well, I can be bothered to do it here because I don't want to break my map. You'd only have to do this on one side, it doesn't take long, as long as the points don't touch. Because I'm sure if you're familiar with the editor, you know what happens if points touch one another. It's not something you want. But. Luckily we can turn the grid locking off, and that saves us problems. So there we are. Now, this should have corrupted the map, but we have a bridge. Now, that, like I say, there's some draw problems. I find it's best if you stick sprites up the side so that you can't look off the edge, because it will sometimes disappear. It usually behaves a bit better in-game. And as revisions go on, it's improved, so as much as the developers don't support it, they're unknowingly improving it. And once again, though, you will be able to go straight through this the ceiling. 
So I recommend putting some more in sprites in there, like we did before. But nonetheless, you know, like I say, you'll have to decorate the sides with sprites. But that's not hard to do, basically just do that off the side here and then drag it onto the bridge. So there we go, ah, that's why you want the text it, the sector around it, is so you can texture the bridge. Because otherwise you're going to end up doing that and texturing the floor around it. That's why the sector's supposed to be there. But if you're not that bothered, it doesn't matter. Because I assume you'd probably be using a more fitting texture anyway. I'll tell you what, we'll leave it like that. There's only grass banks there, look at that. Beautiful, we've got a bridge. Now, there's something I'm going to do real quick. I'm going to edit here. Right, I shall show you this right here. Um, apostrophe X, shared preview mode. Now look, the bridge casts a shadow. Isn't that lovely? Look at that, it's in a nice green light. Just to emphasise it. I recommend putting... You find that dodgy palm tree. Um, I'm not sure it's going to be in here. But if you find that and put it in here... It, It'll, uh, it'll go down good if you use them as little plants next to the bridge. I'll have a quick look for them. So this is going to be an edit. There you go, it's a real rough job. I haven't even put a top on those walls. And that's why you want to do it. Like I say, it'll behave better in game. But there we are. There's a nice simple bridge. The light isn't showing on the sprites for whatever reason. But there we are. You can do what you want with the sprite decorations. You, you get the idea. But that's something you should be careful with. Be prepared for it to go wrong. Now here's a couple of quick little tricks. If you only want decoration, or you can drop sprites in it to make it physically blocking, then you can do this. Now I want a ledge up here. I want a little balcony. So I'm going to make a balcony. Uh, where do I want it? Well, it's probably going to stick right out of one of those windows or something, but hey, who really cares at the end of the day? So, yeah, you can do this anywhere for anything, really, so it's not that strict, to be honest. Now, what I want to do is get that to about one window height or whatever, get it between windows there. But when I'm cleaning windows, yeah, uh, that one, yeah. It'll do. I've somehow applied a slope to that. I don't know how I've done it, but there we are. That's simple enough. Now I want that to stick out. Once again, just turn it inside out like that. And there we go. We've got us a ledge. We can't stand on it, but it'll do the trick. Obviously, adjust your textures. I mean, this isn't going to be a very tidy map. It's not oh, crap. Hang on. That's where you use that trick, isn't it? There you go, like you say, it's, it's easy enough. Okay, I did record more, but it appears that that will be all I can show you for today. Because I am obviously bound by YouTube's time limits. I shall show you the other trickery next time. Hey, check my pond out. Look, it actually is like bigger underneath than it is. <laughs> I'll, I'll show you how this stuff's done another time um, you know I'm just kind of showing off at the minute to promote my my map some more shameless self promotion never goes amiss I don't feel so there we go yeah so next time I'll show you how to put a roof on a building and how to make two story buildings as well um, where you can actually walk on the upper floor Though, once again, it does suffer from a few small problems, which obviously we'll get on to uh, what it does, uh, because, I mean, well, uh, I'm assuming you'll want to know that stuff. A bit pointless not knowing. This is running pretty poor today. Uh, but yeah, so I'll, I'll show you that stuff next time. Hopefully you've enjoyed this, and hopefully you'll use some of those tricks I've just shown you, because I'd really love to see people using those. That'd be uh, really cool. So, yeah, till next time, then I'm High Treason. I'll see you later.